<coughs> students you all know that how we ask questions innovative and case study from 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 uh, from uh, last from so many semester you are writing case study and innovative question yes students last uh, for first internals what case what innovative question i gave i to uh, based on some scenario i asked you to create a class yes what was the question so based on the class i asked you a question so this time this time the portions which i covered is still adio.net and in adio.net i explained you how we get a connection string and when i was explaining the connection string i told you when i was explaining the connection string i told you the basic how to design a form yes students i told no in today's lab also we'll discuss about that today afternoon we have lab no i'll explain you in detail how to create a form and how to begin with if anybody have doubt in the theory class if you did not understand if you have any doubt from the beginning how to begin with the creation of a form and how to take labels how to take text box or how to uh, use a toolbox how to use toolbox if you have any doubt if you have any doubt then in uh, afternoon class we'll discuss and hey students i may ask you uh, i told you how to get a connection string and what is how to create a database how and how to create a server uh, server and how to use a toolbox and how we how we uh, do the changes in the forms yes is my screen is visible students yes yes ma'am okay see students in last class i designed this form and i changed the font color of this label yes where uh, you can see you know where i am uh, pointing the mouse pointer so uh, design id and here for this text box generally the background of the text box will be white color but for this text box the background is blue color why it is blue color because i have changed when you go when you if you want to change if you want to do any modification or if you want to do any changes in the design then you have to go to the properties you have to go to the properties and when you to uh, suppose for example to this label if you want to do ch any changes then click on that particular label and go to the and go to the uh, properties so that and there you can change the font size font color background color and you can also include the images to the to the text box and you can also uh, include uh, images to the label form everything you can do and one more thing students i told you whatever the program it may be a console program or it may be a window program or it may be a web program whatever the projects you create for that project a solution a solution explorer will be there yes you can see the right corner properties references form here only one form i have created if you add one more form to this program then form 2 will be present in the so a solution explorer and here we have a program file program.cs file this is uh, this file will be there in all the program suppose if i want to include any images if i want to include any images then that image should be there present in this solution explorer so this is the basic how to create a form i have explained you i may ask you question uh, based on uh, uh, cons uh, i i may tell you take a um, your department your department uh, mc department as a application or a project and design a form for this mc department yes students each students will write uh, design a different different each students will not create uh, not design a same form no everybody will i have given a theme i have given uh, that the problem statement i have given is for this department you need to de develop a project i want to automate this mca department so you may uh, a few students may highlight placement few students may highlight uh, result few students may highlight some other uh, any other facilities available so each students will write different different answers so that, like this i may ask you any innovative question case study question i'll give a scenario and based on the scenario i'll ask some of the questions last uh, person uh, uh, 
first test what question i asked i gave you some of the name spaces yes i asked you uh, to create a to create a form in that form when, when you create a form you you also uh, will you will create a database yes correct no students you will also create a database when you create a database what form you are going what namespaces you need to include in the program is if i am using a if i am if i am creating a form then then i have to include then i have to include i have to include yes students is my screen is visible now program program yes ma'am yes see here if you want to execute this uh, if you want to create a form if you want to create any form then this namespace is compulsory yes all students will write a uh, write this name names namespaces no yes suppose if you want to include a sql database then what we write using sys system dot date system dot data dot sql client if i am using a if i am using a oledb database then i have to include system dot using dot data dot oledb like this namespaces you have to include like this this type this question i asked for your first test so similarly in second test also um, we learned interface we learned polymorphism and we also learned how to create and how to design a windows applic uh, how to design a form and how to write a query how to write a query in today's lab we are going to learn how to write a query so based on that i may ask you a case study question yes students any doubt in case study and innovative question another doubt is there is so once again i'll re <clears throat> i'll repeat this in uh, afternoon lab please don't miss afternoon lab students yes any doubt okay yes students in last class Yes, students. In last class, we I explained you how to take a connection string. From where we'll get a connection string, students? From where we'll get a connection string? Anybody? Yes, is my voice is audible, students? please respond no okay yes in last class we discussed how to get how to create a connection string and i also explained you the syntax of connection string yes students the syntax of connection string is the syntax of connection string connection string is equal to data source is equal to server name initial catalog is equal to the database name user id is equal to user name and password when i was creating a when i was creating a connection string when i was creating a connection string in the steps i told you if you want to secure your if you want to secure your database you can also give a user name and password to your database generally when in our lab programs we don't give a 
sir we don't give a username and password we don't give a username and password so here um, we, uh, here uh, we, are, we are not giving any username and password but the syntax contains the syntax of connection string contains the username and password yes students in last class i explained you i told you how we, where we'll get a connection string yes students when you when we create a database when you want to create a database you have to go to the uh, connect to database the steps i have already explained in the last class once you create a database you have to get a connection string right click on the database file yes students here i, I have created a, a lab one is my database lab one lab one dot mdf is a database file if you create if, if i right click on that particular database file go to property when you go to properties in the property window in the property window in the property window you here you will get a connection string yes here we get a connection string yes students what is the use of connection string is yes, this helps us to connect from between front end and the back end to connect front end and the back end we use a connection string yes once we get a connection string next what we need to do is next we have to write a query next we have to write a query yes students if you observe this form if you see this form here in this form i have taken a lab i have taken a label that is designation id and the text box this text box it is to take a input from the user input uh, to take a input from the user this text box is there see once i click on this submit button so whatever the data i have entered in the in this text box that data should be uh, should be stored in the database correct no so that is the aim of that is the aim of our program that is the aim of our program here a designation id in this te particular text box i give a designation id and when i click on the submit button that uh, whatever the data i have entered here in this text box that should enter it that should be stored in the database in the database whatever the file name i give so in that particular file it should go now now how to write a code how to write a code yes students here when i when you double click on this when you when i double click on the submit button then it will redirect to the coding part of the button it will redirect to the coding part of the button and as i told as i told where we'll get a connection string is if you click on if, if i right click on this if i right click on the um, mdf file here there in the uh, in the properties in the property window we get a connection string so once i get a connection string so copy the connection string copy the connection string and and we have to paste we have to one second students
with the students i'm not uh, uh, i'm not getting that file so in this form now i have to add a connection string now how to add a connection string Yes, students. Uh, screen is visible, no? Screen can't stay there. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, students. Here, if you see this co, if you see this uh, page here, where I am highlighting is where I am here. This is the line for a connection string. This is the line for connection string. That is SQL connection. This is a SQL connection. Here, first we need to create an object for the SQL connection. What is the syntax to create an object, students? Class. What is the syntax to create an object? Class name. Class name and the object name is equal to new class name. Here, SQL connection is a class name. SQL connection is a class name. This is a class name and con is the object is equal to new SQL connection. Now here within this double quotes, I have to paste the within this double quotes. I have to paste the connection string value. What is the connection string? Here I'll get a connection string here. I'll get whatever the value it will be there in the connection string that you just copy and paste. Copy and paste. See here, this is the connection. This is a connection string. Now, next, next, what I do is, next, what I want to do is, I have to write as I told, as I told, when I click on the submit button, when I click on the submit button, whatever the data is I have entered in the text box, that should be entered into the database. Correct? No, that should be entered into the database. So then means. The data will be inserted when I click on submit button, then the data will be inserted into the database means now we, what query I have to write. What query I have to write students insert query I have to write correct now. Yes, respond insert query I have to write. So before I write a queries before I write a queries one thing we want we need to understand here is. Yes, students, before we write, uh, yes, students, you understood, you understood uh, uh, how to create connection string, no? Once we create a connection string, next, we need to write a query, we need to write a query. So before we write a query, we need to understand that co command object. Before we write a query, we need to understand command object. What? We, why we need command object? Why we need command object? Command object is used to run the or it is used to execute the query. Command object is used to execute the query. Yes, students, I'm repeating command object is used to execute the query. Here I have taken a small example. Here I have taken a small code snippet. Here what I'm doing in this code snippet, I'm entering some data. I'm entering some data. What data I'm entering? I'm entering a data course ID, course name to the file. Yes, student, this is a file name. Course is a file name. Course is a file name, students. This means this is a course is a table. Course ID and course name are the fields I am entering into the database. Yes, simply I cannot write this query. Simply I cannot execute this query. First, I have to create a first. I have to create an object for the commands. First, I have to create an object for the command. What is the use of command object is to run the queries. To run the queries, we need object of the command. Yes, students here, to run the query, I am using SQL data adapter. See, students, one more method is also there. That method I'll explain in the lab. Here, you understand SQL data adapter. SQL data adapter is a command I am using to run this query. Which query I am running? I am running insert query. To run this insert query, I'm using SQL data adapter. And here STA is an object. SDA is an object for this SQL data adapter. SQL SDA is an object to for this SQL data adapter. With the help of this SDA, with the help of this SDA command object, I'm running this or I'm executing this query. What query I'm entering? Uh, I'm writing here. What query I'm writing here? I'm writing insert query 
so whatever if i if you if i write a select query then what it will display if you want to uh, display some information if you want to display some information then we use a select query correct no students we use update query we use delete query whatever the query we want to execute to execute that que that query we need a command object using a command object you can using command object you can run the queries or you can execute the queries understood students what is the use of command object with the help of a command object we run the queries or we execute a query here i have taken a small example see here in this sta is a command object sta is a command object and next we have a working with data adapter working with data adapter now you may ask what is data adapter yes you will ask no definitely you will ask what is data adapter the data adapter is a interface data adapter is a interface between the data set and the database itself it is a interface it is a inter yes, students all this uh, when we when you execute a part b program here uh, there you use this command object data adapter everything you use so you will get a clear idea here in the theory part i am explaining what is the purpose what is the purpose of that data adapter so data adapter is a in, it is a interface between data set and the database itself so it is a interface it is a interface between data set and database means means the data that uh, the means the data adapter a data adapter is responsible for reading the data from database yes students we know that just now i have see here what query i am writing here students yes respond please what query i am writing here i am writing a insert query yes according to this query according to this query the data will be inserted the data will be inserted to the database what data course id and course name yes respond course name yes students if you are not following you please stop me you can ask questions if you are not understanding if you are not following if you have any doubt yes course id and course name these two are the course id and course name these two are the data uh, these two are the fields in the table what now i enter course id mca mca1 m01 course name is dot net m02 course name is st and so on like this i enter using this query yes students using this insert query i'll insert now now i want to display i want to display i want to display assume that i have entered one more uh, yes students i am including one more column that is semester yes that is semester so iot this is a uh, course id m05 yes students you are understanding now first i am inserting here i have taken a query insert query through this insert query i am entering the data to a database what a data i am entering course id course name and semester now i here if you observe this table course uh, uh, course id 0 m01 uh, M and course id m05 these two are belonging to fifth semester yes is it right is yes, these two are belonging to fifth semester now i write a query select star from star from course where semester is equal to 5 yes is that query is correct students is this query is correct edi sari na tappa i write select star from course table where sem is equal to 5 now in this table whatever the courses 
whatever the courses i have in, include uh, entered for the fifth semester for the fifth semester uh, all the all the courses it will all the details it will display yes am i writing the code uh, query here students yes am i writing the query and i am writing a query on this course table i am writing a query on this course table what i am doing i want to fetch some information i want to read the information from the database i want to read the information from the database so with the help of this data adapter with the help of this data adapter you can read a data from the database so data adapter is responsible for reading the data from the database we have different types of data adapter that is ole db data adapter odbc data adapter yes students understanding yes any doubt ole db data adapter odbc data adapter sql data adapter and oracle data adapter yes these are all the four varieties of data adapter these are all the four varieties of data adapter next we have next we have creating a data set from data adapter creating a database data set from a data adapter yes students what i am what here why here why i have written this table is when i in, when i in, insert a data is is a data and uh, will store in the table in this form in the row and column form yes students row and column format alli store agutha database alli okay yes, so it will be stored in the form of row and rows and columns when we say rows and columns then that is our table now creating a data set from a data adapter here when you include or when i insert a data that will be stored in the in the form of a uh, in the form of a table and see here this is a head this is the heading of a table that is cid c name and semester here this is a, this is he, from here i am entering the data correct no students from here i am entering a data i can say table of i can say table of 01 table of sorry table of 0 table of 1 table of 2 table of 3 like this the data will be inserted yes like this the data will be inserted into the database now see here see here students see this code snippet see this code snippet here whatever the whatever the data i have here whatever the data i have here that i am storing in the that i am storing in the data set 1 i am storing in the data set 1 see here using this fill method using a fill method i am storing the data using the fill method i am storing the see why we uh, what is the general meaning of fill take one glass students or take one container fill water so fill water means what we put water inside no yes do we put water inside yes if i tell you if i tell you fill water uh, fill this container with a the water then without putting a water inside i cannot fill this container with a water so similarly i am putting the data similarly i am putting the data and to put the data we use fill method we use fill function see here the array index start from 0 so from 0 the data will be stored in the table of 0 table of 1 table of 2 table of 3 like this the data will be inserted 
next updating with data adapter if you want to if you want to update any data then you can update a data from this database creating a data view creating a students view means what what is view see correct no if i tell view, uh, view this view this file or view this image this is the image view this image if i tell you to view this image then what you do you just see if i tell you i have given this image modify this image if i tell you to modify this image then what you do you may include one more namespace or you may include one more form you may include some other some other other uh, lines in the program or in the code just now i am say, saying that just view the image when i say view the image just we see the image so here creating a data view creating data view is nothing but read only creating database is nothing but read only here you cannot modify a data you cannot edit a data you can just view the data so this is creating a data view yes students these are all the basics for uh, before we start writing a uh, start uh, in, uh, writing the code before we start writing the uh, writing the code these are all the basic things is any doubt any doubt here i have, no yeah. I have completed uh, third module students yes hey, students can you see the uh, word document is yes, in the first in the fourth module the fourth the title of the fourth module is user graphical user user interface with windows form with window form and wpa what is wpa go back to first module what is wpa hmm what is wpa yes students what is wpa past mega window presentation foundation what you learned in window presentation foundation yenu kalthila hmm window presentation foundation students nothing you learned in window presentation foundation 2d images also you can include 2d images 3d images and you can give a the audio video effect the gui should be attractive yes ella marto itu okay so here uh, in the in the fourth module we are going to learn about a window form and event handling yes students um, you can see you can see this form now you can see this form in this form yes, what yes. in this form what we are doing in martha we the form alli yes we are adding a id yes good we are adding a id to a database so are we doing any event here are we doing any event here yes we as yes, students when we take a form when we take a form definitely we do some event without doing event without doing any event then what's the use of taking a form 
without is yes, without of event what is the use of taking a form there is no use if i just take if i remove this submit button if i just take another 100 labels another 100 text box just i take a i enter a um, i enter a text i enter some information in the text box and i am not entering to the database then what's the use will the data will be stored no the data will not store so whatever the uh, when we take a form when we take a form we have to include, when we take a form so definitely we write we do some event so what event i do here i am doing i am uh, 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 here i am doing a submit event i can also do display event event is nothing but some work is it right students some action event is nothing but some action yes if i call your name if i if i say fifth semester students then i am doing some event what I, what what action i am doing i am calling my students i am calling my students and who is calling madam is calling so madam will be the event handler yes yes students if i click, double click on the submit button then the code will be then it will be redirect redirect to the coding part so this button is a event handler is it right do you agree this button is a event handler what event submit button who is doing that submit button submit event event handler is doing the submit button so this event is this submit event is handled by who by label no by text box no by this button by this button yes yeah, students if anybody have once again i'm showing how to create a form first go to file click on click on new yes in the lab i'm not going to show this once again directly i today directly i'll go to the uh, queries file new project project part b pr1 part b pr1 is my file the current solution will be closed it is asking save the save changes to the following items yes so i want to save the see students if you see if you observe this form initially the form will be empty initially the form will be empty now now i start designing this form first first what i do i change the color of the form yes select that particular form right click go to properties form see the four color of the four color means the font color of the form is black and the back color of the form is back color is nothing but the background color yes i have changed again i came back to the regular color only or normal color only so now i start designing this form yes students can you see here form 1 kana sai dia respond now i want to change that how to change go to properties select text select text designation here i am changing to designation yes the name is changed the name of the form is changed students change aita yes ma'am 
now go to toolbox yes students if the toolbox is not available then go to view in the view you will get a toolbox here i need from the toolbox i take one label yes students if you if you want a 10 label or if you want a 100 label 100 times no need to go to the toolbox just once you take this copy and paste copy and paste now this label label i'll change to designation uh, label 1 to designation id how to change how to change students go to properties change the text name designation id designation id see i don't want this font style go if you want to change the font style then select the label go to properties there you can change the yes students you are following no am i fast am i fast students ready fast ka fast start ka idea no ma'am go to font bold oblique and the font size i'll change to 12 click on okay yes change aita now already i have label 2 yes students i have label 2 now i don't i delete this label 2 label 2 i have deleted i'll copy label 1 and i'll paste now what i do i select this label uh, copied lab, uh, copied label and i go to properties the designation id i'll change to designation name yes change aita following students how i am doing the changes following yes ma'am now go again go to toolbox take text just go to toolbox just drag and drop uh, second time i did not go to i did not go to toolbox just i copied and pasted yes understanding how i am designing a form yes students here the fourth module you need to understand the window form handling a event and controlling a gui with label text box buttons group boxes check boxes radio button tool tip mouse event key event yes next now i need button button bekalwa i need button yes students in today's lab in today's lab beginning 20 minutes time i'll give you have to create a form you have to create a form and you have to share your screen and you have to show me in today's lab yes students i'm repeating in today's lab you have to show you have to switch on your you have to uh, in your laptop first 20 minutes time i'll give in 20 minutes time you have to create a form you have to share your screen and you have to show once once you share your screen and show the creation of a form then only i'll explain you i'll tell you how to include a uh, queries in the forms next i'll take button yes students i have taken a button yes for this button i'll change the name yes students you can also you can, the button name generally it will be the name will be button 1 you can you can change it to submit or insert whatever you want you can change i'll 
change it to insert so how to change select the button go to properties insert right ah insert now see uh, designation id designation name labels are the font size is bigger compared to this to these two labels the button is very small it is not visible only i will change this how how to change go to font bold oblique font size i'll change to 14 14 yes yes students I have, I have included two labels, two text box, and one button. One button. Now, now, I have to now whatever the value I have, I include here. Whatever the value I insert in designation ID and designation name, when I click on insert button, that should go to the database. Now, how it will go to the database? Hey, go to the database, guy. when i write a query here when i write a insert query in the button when is yes, is it right students following when i write a insert query the data will be stored into the database now now first i need to create i need to create a database file yes without database file without database file how Yes, I have to create in uh, create a database. How to create a database? Go to go to Server Explorer. Connect to database. Connect to database. Yes, students. Here we'll do the changes. Here we'll do the changes. Here select. is microsoft SQL, sql server database file see in the last in the last class i selected this so by default it will be uh, microsoft sql server database so click on okay here give a database name database file name if you if already it is there you can browse if it is not there you can create a new one lab pr1 yes pr1 is a database or basic uh, uh, pr hyphen basic d e s i g so this i have created click on okay button yes students it is asking it is not there this particular file is not there do you want to create it yes i want to create it yes again i am repeating all this i am not going to repeat in the lab after in lab this already second time i am explaining this students so and first 20 minutes time i'll give everything you have to do this all these things you have to do in your laptop and then all the, all these things you have to do in your laptop then uh, then only i'll i'll explain you how to create how to enter the how to enter the queries yes students why it is showing this error is i told you in the last lab only uh, last class only i told you here from the beginning from fresh if you create if you do everything then it will not show any error see just now i have deleted some mdf file and some uh, sdf file that's why it is creating a error it is showing the error but if you are not if you are not doing any mistakes from the beginning all the steps you are doing properly then it will not show any error just click on okay then database will be created in the last class we did this
is if with with that with those steps you can create a database file with those steps you can create a database file once you create a database file you can insert a data insert a table into the database yes students insertion of a insertion of a table i explained you yes do you remember how to insert a tables yes students amit amit yes ma'am you know no i explained no how to insert a database and uh, how to insert a tables into a database is usn6 apurva yes ma'am yes, ma i explained no how to insert a table how to create a tables in the database yes ma'am but uh, can you repeat that again ma'am you want me to repeat that uh? yes, okay ma Um, okay, hey, students. Now, uh, I uh, in the lab I'll explain you. Once again, I'll repeat. What file name I told? P R Part B P R One. This yes, here. Uh, it is asking. Yes, yeah, students. Use Windows authentication. Use Windows authentication. If I, if this radio button is selected, then no need to give any username and password. If I, if I select use SQL Server authentication, then it will. You have here. You have to give a username and password. Generally, we don't give username and password. okay a hey, students is a procedure to create a database and how to include a tables in the database i'll explain you in the lab but before before i start explaining this how to create a tables in the file you have to create a form and you have to share the screen and you have to show me unless and until you show me whatever you have created i'll not go further i'll not explain you how to include a queries in the form yes understood artha aagta idya nu torso varugu nan next queries hel kodala Uh, that time you don't tell that no power no charge in the laptop i am not going to listen that's why now only i am telling still you have another two hours and you can put your laptop for charging and i will give you 20 minutes time in my lab only i'll give you 20 minutes time to write the queries i mean to uh, design the form because which type of form ma'am in upa which type of form design ma'am the same your lab program oh your lab program this first form this this first form your lab programs only the students last week i did not take a class no so uh, tomorrow afternoon one hour class i take ma'am i have one doubt ma'am hello yes ha huh. ma'am in the first stage of the of this microsoft visual studio what we have to select window form application or wpf applications mm, i share wait wait ma'am like ha uh, huh, wait wait, wait i'll share the screen and tell you here you are asking no file new project window form application and one more doubt what you have uh, no don't select this wpaf application select window form application your yes, students select window form application is answer your attendance aditya 
अजय यस मैम अमित यस मैम अंतिमा गौरीश गौतमी प्रेजेंट मैम गुणशेखर हरिणी प्रेजेंट मैम ओके हरिणी ओके मैम ओके सूर्य प्रेजेंट मैम नयना प्रेजेंट मैम नजमा प्रेजेंट मैम निधि प्रदीप निधि इल्वा हाँ सर बंद है प्रदीप यस मैम प्रीति प्रेजेंट मैम राजेश सहदेव प्रेजेंट मैम साकेत संतोष प्रेजेंट मैम सीमा यस मैम सिंचना प्रेजेंट मैम स्पूर्ति सुरु प्रेजेंट मैम वर्षा यशस्विनी प्रेजेंट मैम अमृता प्रेजेंट मैम अनुषा अपूर्वा साई सिद्धार्थ यस मैम चेतना प्रेजेंट मैम अपूर्वा एबसेंट काव्या मधुश्री प्रेजेंट मैम प्रेजेंट मैम प्रशांत प्रतिभा प्रशांत एबसेंट प्रतीक प्रेजेंट मैम साधना प्रेजेंट मैम शशांक प्रेजेंट मैम श्रद्धा प्रेजेंट मैम श्रीधर प्रेजेंट मैम अनुज प्रेजेंट मैम तेजस्विनी प्रेजेंट मैम सनी प्रेजेंट मैम आशीष प्रेजेंट मैम विद्या प्रेजेंट मैम विशाल प्रेजेंट मैम 